High school senior Jesse Ray Beard, known as Jody, is a wide receiver on his school's football team, hoping to go pro. What do you want to do when you get older? Try to make it to the NFL if that doesn't work. Get a degree, being a lawyer. Big dreams now for number 11, but back in his hometown of Gina, Louisiana, Jody had been living a nightmare. He was one of the teens known as the Gina Six, charged with attempted murder after a brawl injured a white student at Gina High. Protesters called the case a symbol of a biased justice system. The fight in December 2006 followed months of racial tension in the small town after nooses were hung from a tree on the school lawn. They really wasn't trying to like, give us a chance. They like described us as bad children, as thugs. However, only two eyewitnesses out of nearly 50 identified Jody, then 14, as a participant in the fight. The deck was stacked against him in Gina. Attorney Alan Howard of the New York firm Dewey and LaBeouf represented Jody for free. And I saw a lot of resilience there and a lot of passion and charm, and uh, I liked him right away. Alan wanted to give him an opportunity, so he turned to the people he trusted most. I love be fun. His family. What did Alan tell you about Jody? He told me he was a great kid who really needed a second chance. I remember saying that he should come live with us, and I was totally for it, but I never thought it would actually happen. While he was representing you, he made a promise to you. Yes, sir. What did he say to you? If I stay out of trouble, they would get me out of Gina. Allen made good on that promise when he and other defense lawyers got the original judge in the case removed because of bias. What do you think would have happened to uh, Jody if he would have stayed in Gina? I think um, they would have found some way to lock him up for something. With Jody's mom's blessing, Allen became the teenager's guardian. At 210, 511, he's now a big part of the Howard family. He's been giving advice to me on life girls. <laughs> <laughs> Two different pictures have emerged here about Jody. Which one is the real Jody? We know him. He lives in our house. This is the real kid. I mean, I don't know who that kid was that they were depicting in, in, in Gina. Jody says he hasn't changed at all. And to those who thought you were a thug, what do you say to them? I'm doing well now. Well enough, he says, to take advantage of this opportunity <laughs> and run with it. Harold Dow, CBS News, New York. <laughs> the other five who were charged along with Jody have also left Gina, Louisiana, and are continuing their educations as well. Bryant Purvis is attending college in Texas where he plays basketball. Robert Bailey Jr. is at Grambling State on scholarship. Theo Shaw was elected vice president of the student government at his community college in Louisiana. In January, Carwin Jones will begin classes at a junior college in Texas. And Michael Bell survived a suicide attempt and now attends Southern University in Baton Rouge.